Hi, I'm Els, a Nodal freelancer from Belgium. And in this video, I would like to share some useful modules if you work with product variants. This is a Nodal 15 database. I've set up, set up some products with a few variants. And if we go and look at the website application, which I also installed at the shop, we see these products here with all their sizes and colors. If we go through the setup of these products, this jacket has one size, one color, pants have more and so on. Okay, the first thing or module is really, really small but useful. If we start from a product template and we go to the variants, to the form over there, we have this but button to go back to the product template. We can also do this by navigating in the breadcrumbs. So we go back to the t-shirt or we click this link and then we open a dialog. Now, if we work directly from the variants and we open up one there, we don't have this link to go to the product template, which is a simple missing feature that can be resolved by installing an application that's free and it's uh, developed by an Indian company Def app biz, I guess. Let's check again. Based, if we go and see here, to the info, biz app dev. So what it does, it adds a button to a product variant to jump right to its template. Open template and we go to the pants template with the six variants. A very small one, but a useful one. Then we have the next one. And this might be also, you could say you have to do this with Auto Studio. So I will show you with Auto Studio. What it does, it adds, we have an attributes menu to go to the attributes and, and then we have the list with its values. It, would be very useful if we have a menu tool to directly access these values. And we could do so by using um, Auto Studio. We edit a menu, we add a new menu, choose an existing menu, uh, menu model. And uh, the model is attribute value. We give it a correct name. We put it in the right place, we confirm, and that's all we have to do to add a list for um, the attribute values. It should be a list view by default, and it isn't right now, so I'm not quite sure Why we can add a tree here. Okay, we refresh this attribute value. So we have a list here. Um, that's what we wanted, but if it's quite basic. Uh, and it should need some more customization because if we open one value, what we see is um, a list again of lines that are linked to the product template. So if we open, for example, the small size, we can see here a list with two, four, six times the attribute size and that is because this table 
isn't that useful here. It means the value small is linked to uh, six product templates. So it could be done with Auto Studio, absolutely. But there is something better. I will delete this menu so it's no longer here. And I will install an OCA module that's called product attribute value. And it adds the menu item again. But we have now a link to all templates where this exact value is used. So if we could go to the attributes, we have the size, we can see eight related products, the color, six related products. But when we go to the attribute values, we see this per attribute value, which is much more interesting information. When you have maintenance on your attributes and your values. Another uh, menu item pops up if we install this module, the attribute values extra prices. This is also an overview of details you can see in a product template. I'll go over there and I will take the pants, for example, the attribute values. And here are configure buttons that pop up the model to add extra prices to a specific value for a product template. So as you can see here, I've added an extra price of five for a large pants. So if I look at this in the shop, I open my pants, I can see here the large has uh, plus five euro besides uh, its label. So if I select it, my pants will cost 15 euro. So this menu item is an overview of all these um, settings per over the product templates. So if I group by, let's say product template here, I can see in one go what extra prices have been set. So five euro at the pants level for the large one. And here I can see three euros for my t-shirt when it's a red t-shirt. Now that brings me to another module because no, not really a lot of businesses have a specific use case for adding an extra price to um, a variance. Mostly you just set prices per variance. If you would have to do that in standard Odoo, you would need to use price lists because if you go to the product templates, you can see here the sales price. If you go to the variance, you can see the same field here, but it's not changeable because it is inherited from product template. So if we would have to set different prices, fixed prices for our attributes, uh, for our variants, we would need the price lists functionality. So if we enable price lists, you can choose different um, settings. I will take the most advanced one. And if we go back to our product templates, our jacket has only one uh, variant. Let's say our pants. We can set extra prices here and we would have to choose our variant 
let's say the small red one is seven euros and the small blue one is eight euros okay if we check this in the front end in our shop the small red one is seven euros the blue one is euros the green one is 10 euros the default price we have set the large one has an extra five so based upon the default value so um, this is an extra functionality the price list is very useful useful but maybe not that needed for you if you only have one price and you don't work with different price lists. Um, we can also install another OCA module that enables us to set a sale price per variance. So if I install this one and I go back to my product variance Let's say I take the shoes, the sh a normal shoe is uh, one euro. And if it's black, I will ask nine euro. And if it's white, I will ask 19 euro of 19 euros. So we go to our shoes here and 9 euro when it's black 19 euro when it's white other sizes are still 1 euro by default so um, this implicates that when you look at the shop overview you don't see there are different prices. A pants is 10 euro. Why? Because if we go to the product template of the pants, we can see that our sale price is uh, well, it was set to 10 euro. The field is gone here. I don't know why, because we installed this um, module but we had set it to 10 so another book module is interesting the website's website sale product minimal price module and it uh, will show a front price in the shop as I will show you now. As you can see, the t-shirts and the pants are from the lowest uh, price available. Okay, next one. Website sale product attribute filter existing. Uh, amount full. Why? Uh, this module, you will see here that for all my published products all available sizes and colors are presented to to the user to filter but maybe some value isn't even used in these products we'll check this by going to our attribute values list. Now we see all values are used. So we create a new color. The button doesn't really work from here. So I go to my colors and we'll add um, uh, green. No, oh, we have green, yellow, red, blue, uh, black and white. <laughs> Give me a color. Uh, lemon. 
let's say lemon we go back to the shop we refresh and we see lemon appearing here while it isn't even used by any other of the products so if we go here we see that the color lemon is never used so the app i just mentioned i will duplicate so i'll have the apps application beasts I install this module. I go back to the shop and lemon is gone. But I think this module is could even could even be more correct if we would um, filter these attribute values based on what is available here because if we choose clothing for example i won't see my shoes anymore because my shoes are here in a separate category but all sizes and all colors are avail still available while my shoe has these sizes and black and white as colors so i'll go to the apps app uh, again and i will uninstall this one i'll install this one it's the same with some minor adjustment to the code I go back to my page I filter I refresh the page and as you can see only the attribute values for the products that are available here are listed to the left so if I go to clothing black and white is gone and the shoe sizes also okay and last but not least there is a very interesting module to um, apply a default internal reference of uh, apply an internal reference to variants automatically but i have another video on this uh, and i will put uh, the link to the video in the description so if you have any questions or remarks for me please um, comment if I have some more info for you on this video later on I will add it to the description and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up thank you